Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Houston Sports Talk back to another video today. And today, Brooklyn Nets forward Keanu Bates Diop is exercising his 2024 25 player option and has decided to stay with the Brooklyn Nets for another season. Although, we'll see, that will be determined. Because uh, obviously, yes, that means he's returning to the Brooklyn Nets, but it doesn't mean Brooklyn might not try to trade him. We'll see what happens there. Brooklyn could always trade someone that exercise a player option or or if they exercise a team option um i will say this very smart decision by bates diop here um look bates diop is a very solid player very very solid player um but uh he was he's not he, you know this is a 2.65 million dollar player option here he's not getting that money nowhere else uh this is someone who just had season uh just had surgery uh, or a procedure uh, to address his stress factor. And um, there is no status on a timetable for his return in 2024-25 season. He might not be fully healthy to start off the year. And this is also someone who only averaged 3.7 points per game and 2.1 rebounds per game this season uh, with Phoenix and Brooklyn over the course of 58, 53 games and eight starts. Uh, he's a very solid player, and the last couple seasons before this with San Antonio, uh, which I will go over, are you know the, this if you if you compare this season I just went over how he played and the poor basketball he played compared to th two past seasons with the San Antonio Spurs, it is a lot different. I mean, this is someone who averaged uh, nine point seven points per game with uh, four rebounds per game and two assists per game with uh, shooting. 39% from three with the San Antonio Spurs in the 22-23 season and averaging six points per game and four rebounds per game, uh, shooting 31% from three and having a field goal percentage of 51% in the 21-22 seasons with, with San Antonio Spurs. And that's why he got a solid contract with the Phoenix Suns. I believe it was a two-year deal that the Phoenix Suns signed him to uh, and I, I think he got like six or seven million from the Phoenix Suns, uh, which was what th it was either three or three and a half million dollars a year that he got that came with this two point six five million dollar player option. Obviously, Phoenix and Brooklyn have not worked out for him. It was a very bad season. If you look at all of his seasons, it's one of his worst seasons. It, this was his worst season of his career. Uh, he has never averaged well. Actually, I was wrong. The 2021 season, he only averaged 2.6 points per game. Um, that was a bad year for him. But this is one of the worst years of his career. But what makes this a little bit worse, in my opinion, is this This is a bad year for him, his second worst season of his career, after having two great seasons with the, you know, with, with the uh, San Antonio Spurs. Uh, so, you know, obviously things weren't really working out for Phoenix. It kind of took him out of the rotation. He gets traded to Brooklyn. Um, so, and obviously he wasn't that great there either. He was better in Brooklyn than he was in Phoenix. And now he is ex exercising this player option. Smart. It's, it's very smart to exercise that player option. It's been reported that teams are not going to be paying a lot for veteran players. He is kind of getting near to that veteran player, you know, type of player. He's 28 years old. He's going to be 29 years old uh, next season. So he's kind of, you know, he's kind of reaching veteran type player. And he's not going to get, for for someone who just had a bad season after having two great seasons with the San Antonio Spurs, and not only that, but not really fully sure when he might be healthy for an NBA team. He's not getting two. He's not getting more than two point six five million dollars in free agency. I, I really, really, I if he would to potentially decline that player option, which means he would be a free agent. He'd be an unrestricted free agent. Then the the goal of declining the player option would be, all right, get more than two point six five million 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 dollars in my contract, and that's not going to happen. He's not going to get that much money um, with the season he had. The, the injury that he currently has, the you know the, the procedure he just had to fix a stress fracture, um, and then you know it being one of his worst seasons. So let me know your thoughts on the the Nets having Keita Bates D out back. Um, yeah, you know, I think he's a solid player. I think 
he had two really good seasons with San Antonio Spurs in the 22-23 season and the 21-22 season. Could he get back to that form? Sure. Maybe if he's healthy after this you know, procedure, that definitely could happen. But is that with the Brooklyn Nets or is that with someone else? That is what everybody will have to wait and see. Let me know your thoughts and peace out.